Hi friends, welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil. In chemistry, we have already completed 16 classes. This is class 17. In this class, I am going to discuss highest and lowest properties of elements. Highest and lowest properties of elements. That means, what is the lightest element? What is the heaviest element? What is the best conductor? And what is the most ductile element? Like that. Okay, this is a very very important topic. Please listen carefully and if possible, note down all the points. First of all, what is lightest element? What is lightest element in case of non-metals? In case of non-metals. In non-metals, the lightest element is hydrogen. Is hydrogen very very important bit the lightest element in case of non-metal is hydrogen in case of metals the lightest element in case of metals that is lithium friends lithium lithium okay we know that the atomic number is three for hydrogen atomic number is one okay and the next one, what is the heaviest element? Heaviest element. It is osmium. It is osmium. This, it is the heaviest element. And the next one, very very important one. What is, uh, which element is liquid metal? Liquid metal. That means the element is metal and also it is in liquid form. We know that that is liquid metal is nothing but mercury. Mercury. Why? Because mercury is a metal and it is in the form of liquid. So it is a liquid metal. Okay. And then liquid non metal. Liquid non metal. Liquid non metal. The element is bromine. Bromine. Bromine is comes under non-metal and it is in liquid form. Liquid non-metal is bromine. Liquid metal is mercury. Okay. And the next one. Best conductor. Best conductor. Conductor means we know that which allows the electricity through it. Okay. In case of best conductor, in case of metals. In case of metal that is silver, silver AG, very very important, best conductor, silver, okay. And in case of non-metals, best conductor, in case of non-metals, that is carbon compound, that is allotrope of carbon, that is graphite, graphite. Graphite is the best conductor in case of non-metals. In case of metals, it is silver. Okay. And the next important one, most ductile metal. Most ductile. Ductile and malleable metal. Malleable metal. Is nothing but, we know that that is gold. Ductile means we can make this metal into wires, very small thin wires. We can make very small thin wires by using gold. So we can convert the gold, in, gold into very, th very small thin wires. Okay. So the most ductile metal is gold. And the next one, most reactive metal. Most reactive metal. That is cesium. Cesium is the most reactive metal. And in case of most reactive non-metal, most reactive non-metal. Metal is cesium. Non-metal is fluorine. Non-metal is fluorine. Okay. And the next important one, it is very very important one. Highest ionization potential. Highest ionization potential the element is noble gas element that is helium 
helium. I already discussed in the previous class what is this ionization potential. It is nothing but it is the energy required to remove one atom or one electron from outermost shell. Outermost shell is called ionization potential. It is the energy required to remove one electron from outermost cell is called ionization potential. For this helium, it is a noble gas and zero group element. It has completely filled. We know that the atomic number that is for helium it is 2. That means 1 in this orbital 1s2, 1s1, 1s2. So 1s2. So it is completely filled. So it is a very difficult to remove one outermost electron from this helium. So it, it is the highest ionization potential. It has highest ionization potential. Okay. And the next one, least ionization potential. Le the element which has least ionization potential. That is CCM friends. CCM. CCM. Okay. And the next important property, metal having a highest melting point. Metal having highest melting point. Melting point. It is nothing but the element is tungsten. Tungsten. This tungsten metal has highest melting point. So that's why this tungsten material is used for making bulbs. Bulb filament. Making for bulb filament. And the next one, element having highest electron affinity. Very, very important one. Element having highest electron affinity is chlorine friends chlorine cl chlorine i already discussed about this electron affinity it is nothing but it is energy released whenever we add one electron whenever we add one electron then the energy will be released that energy is nothing but electron affinity the element having highest electron affinity is chlorine. And the next one, most electronegative element. Most electronegative element. Very, very important. That is fluorine. Fluorine. And also it is the strongest oxidant. Strongest oxidant is also fluorine so fluorine and the next important property strongest reductant strongest reductant is lithium is lithium and we know that the group of gaseous element group of gaseous elements that is nothing but zero group zero group elements these elements are also called as noble gases noble gases are inert gases very very important zero group elements are noble gases are inert gases we know that these noble gases are noble gases they are uh, they are not active and these gases are helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon, and OZ, organation, organization. These are noble gases. Coming to the atomic numbers, for helium it is 2, neon 10, argon 18, krypton 36, xenon 54, radon. 86 and OG 118. Okay. These are the noble gases are inert gases. Inert gases. 
in exams he will give any other three elements and one of this uh, noble gas element and ask for which is noble gas okay or he will give any of these three and one another element and ask for in the following which are not noble gas likewise okay and the next important one the element present in bones and teeth element present in our bones and teeth all of you know about this it is nothing but calcium calcium and the next one most poisonous metal most poisonous metal it is plutonium it is plutonium it is most poisonous metal and one more thing the element stored in kerosene oil very very important the element stored in kerosene oil is nothing but sodium friends sodium okay these are the very very important highest and lowest properties of elements okay now we have totally completed 17 classes and all the students are asking for sir uh, how many classes are remaining there are nearly two to three classes that is for, uh, chemical bonding chemical bonding and uh, fibers fiber to the fabric maybe two to three classes the chemistry total will be completed okay okay thank you friends